Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning word. Looks like I'm glowing here. <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not an angel at the moment, but it does look quite bright. I uh, just wanted to say, sorry, let me get back on this. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning word. Uh, thank you for joining us. For those new to this, this is where we... Um, uh, share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I wanted to see your life go from here to here. And that's back to my message by God that says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. Well, how do we do that? Well, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now, the one thing I should say, listen, as you're listening to these videos, please take notes. Get a pen, get a pad, take notes. At the end of it, all right, review those notes. See if what I said makes sense. Read the scriptures for yourself. If it makes sense, apply it. Listen, hearing alone will not get you to success. It's what you do. Faith without deeds is dead. So it's what you do, not just what you hear. So God bless you. Let's really get into this. We're reading from the book of Joshua, which is the sixth book of the Bible. Okay, and we're reading from chapter four, verse one to three. And it reads this. When the whole nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, choose 12 men from among the people, one from each tribe, and tell them to take up 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan, from white, right where the priest stood, and to carry them over with you and put them down at the place where you stay tonight. I'm going to call this morning's word a time to say thank you, gratitude. Now, imagine what an amazing thing the nation of Israel just sing. They've just walked through the Jordan, the rivers have been held so they could walk straight through. 1.52 million people walking towards their promised land. How victorious, how amazing. But God had to remind them when they got to the other side that I want you to stop a moment and just be grateful. Grateful for this season of success. Grateful for this season of blessings. Just grateful that what God has just done. Because it's so easy as we are in the pursuit of our goals, our dreams, our ideas, to dismiss all the good things that are happening on the way. Now imagine they were going to the promised land, so you know that may for them have been the great victory, but was this not a great victory? Was this not something that they should have had incredible gratitude for? Now we do this in our everyday lives, we're pursuing and we're pursuing for more, achieving more, and that's fine, but you can miss the very blessings that you're having right now because you don't have a sense of gratitude. You're not appreciative of the good things that are happening in your life right now. So that really leads me to the, the, the question of the day. The question of the morning is this. Are you spending time being thankful? Are you spending time just saying thanks? Thank God, man. Wow, I'm alive. Listen, here's the lesson of the day. It is easy to move from success to success and never be grateful um, in our constant pursuit of more. Now, gratitude was a key to happiness. If you truly want happiness and joy, you have to learn how to be content. And that comes through gratitude when you're just appreciative of all the things, the big, the small, and you appreciate them all. Gratitude ensures that um, you see the good in your life. You're never jealous of anyone else's life, that you're, you, know, you see all the good that's in your life and all the blessings that you've received up until this point. And let me tell you something, it creates an incredible attitude of positivity. If you want to be positive this morning, have a heart of gratitude. And that really leads to the action of the day. The action of the day is this. Find the time daily, weekly, monthly, annually to say thank you. To have that thing, you know, I'm just going to thank you for And what do you say thank you for? Thank you for the fact that you were able to watch this video. Thank you for my shoes. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my family. Thank you for the troubles that are bringing me character. Just be grateful. If you really want to be successful, learn to be grateful and have a heart of gratitude and that will lead to contentment and there is nothing better than that. So God bless you. As we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. Please subscribe to our social media outlets so you get these videos Monday to Friday. But more importantly, please share these videos with your friends. Uh, the reason I say that, I believe that we can change the world by changing the mindset of one person. Because a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So God bless you and see you soon for another morning.